Okay, so let's take a look at your shoulder health if you're a massage therapist, whether that's you're doing massage therapy, reflexology, uh, whatever treatment, because we want you to look after, obviously if you're gonna be treating people with the shoulders, we need to make sure that your shoulders, especially with massage um, and, and any of these therapies that you might be doing, because of the repetitive motion. So you have to be so, so careful with your posture and I and your biomechanics. And so let me tell you some of the, the biggest mistakes that massage therapists, and I go through this in my massage courses, but if you have never had one of my massage courses, let me give you a brief summary, okay? All right, so let me show you some of the major faults that, uh, I've taught these in my massage courses, but if you haven't done them, then I'll go through these basics as well, because so many massage therapists, so many destroy their shoulders. So I want you to treat shoulders. And I also want you to have healthy shoulders. So let's go through the most common mistakes massage therapists make, which destroys their careers at, at worst. At best, it makes it miserable for them because who wants to massage in pain or fatigued or both? So let me show you. Right, so the first thing is make sure that your massage table is not too high. Why is that? Well, because so many massage therapists, maybe because of their lower backs, and I'll show you posture with your lower back, but they, they, what happens is, Okay, so that they're up here, and if it's too high, so imagine the body's probably here, the person's, you know, back's here, and now they're having to do this. So look at the arms, they're all crunched up, all like this, I have a show side on, and you see this all the time, we say concentrate, you're doing this. So, okay, so that's the first thing, because for you to put pressure, all this is, is muscular effort, all right? There's no weight transference, which I'll show you about, no body weight transference, and you're using, mu it's all muscle. And this is just ruining your shoulders, okay? So, lower that table, okay? If your table's too high and you're having to do this, especially if you do deep tissue, it's all hard work. And if it's hard work for you, not only does it not feel as good for your clients, but it doesn't feel good for you. If you're really tired, you're giving tired massages because you're fatigued and or in pain, so it's not as good for your client's experience and it's definitely not fun for you. No one wants to be tired and work, especially in massage. It's already, you know, if you're not doing it correctly, it's already you know, going to be hard work because you're using muscular effort. Here's the difference. Right, so if you are massaging, and look, so okay, let's say I've lowered the table, all right. So we've got the table, okay, great. Now what? What's wrong with this? Well, the shoulders are down, good. Okay, so let's let's unpack this. First and foremost, what you want to be is broad across the shoulders, okay? We know that impinging with poor posture, whether it's for you uh, standing, driving, sitting, what have you, massaging, be broad across the shoulders. Broad, okay, so that you have opened up, because if you're all hunched up and crunched up, so are your shoulders. You know that as we've talked about with elevation when bad posture. So broad across the shoulders. So open out the chest, and then, okay, so we're doing that. Shoulders are down, but there's still a big problem with this, okay? I'll go this way, do this. Okay, my shoulders are down, I'm broad, okay, this is good, but what's wrong? It's all still muscular effort. If you are flat-footed in your massage, you're using all your muscular effort, all right? You wanna use your, your body weight and weight transference. So let, let's just go back to kneading. So you, you're broad, you got, okay, good. Now, look, this is just all shoulders rotating, isn't it? All shoulders rotating. So what do you do? What you want to do, and this feels, I guarantee you, so much better, not only for you, but for your client. It is worlds away from standing there and mu doing muscular effort kneading, all right? Whatever stroke. So, wide base. Okay, lower table, broad across here. And now I'm gonna rock from side to side. If you're doing work and you're not transferring weight from side to side, now, look at this. That is a world away, not only for your shoulder health, but for, the, for your massage. Your massage will be so much better. You could do it on someone. Do this, and then do this. You could probably see in the camera, it already looks way better. Okay, and that's safe. Now, I'll turn my posture. So let's say you're going through here, broad across the shoulders, nice base here, and just like if you're throwing a ball, um, playing golf, playing tennis, 
you know what you do, if you, th you throw a ball, you go back to your back foot, and then you go to your front foot, whether it's pitching or whatever it is, okay? Because that's where the power is, with your body weight. You don't throw it off the back foot like that. So you go forward, same with massage. So I'm come back, and shoulders are down, broad, and now I'm onto my front foot, and back, and this is this beautiful rocking motion. Okay, whether it's side to side, my feet are facing towards you now, now they're more like in a yoga position, but whatever's comfortable and balanced. So then you're working, now if you're using your elbow, or forearm, or both, do not do this, do not do this. Okay, once again, you're static, and you're doing, so if you're doing this, you're gonna have troubles. It's just a matter of time, right? What do you do? You use your body weight. So you get this forward, don't trail it behind, because then it's all on your tendons, okay? Get it out the front, now it's going through your upper arm bone, the pressure. So I come back, and then you just work, as you go, so you're broad across the shoulders, and you can do this all day, every day, and it's a pleasure to do. It's a pleasure to perform, because it's easy on you. You lean your body weight onto the client here, adjusting as, 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 you, know, as you need, and you can just work whatever it is. You see, even, even this position, you want to do some elbow. You can hold your wrist like this, whatever you want to do and it's still static. I'm not doing this, this, none of that. Keeping this to an absolute minimum without impinging and crouching. Now, one other thing, your lower back. So you might say, well, if I put my table down low, then, you know, I'm gonna have bad posture. Well, you're only gonna have bad posture if you have bad posture. If you, you, you know, so don't flex at the lumbar spine like this. See this, no, 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 no what's called hip hinging. So you're, you're keeping that inward lumbar curve, so you're sort of sticking your bum out if you like, and then the, the, there's no movement at the lumbar spine. It's all at the hips, okay? So then you're doing this. You're doing it like this, right? And then I've got that inward lumbar curve, lower back's protected, all the way through. Power's generated through the, the, the muscles in your legs, I mean, you're strengthening your back just being in this position, and away you go. The other thing I want you to be very, very aware of is not flying out on the elbows. Because once again, we're in that internal rotation, possibly impinging even with, so keep your elbows down as much as you can. So if I'm doing kneading, I don't need to be out like this. Right? That's just gonna weaken your shoulders. It's gonna, you know, um, potentially hurt them, you know, damage them and wear and tear. But if you can get those elbows down more, as opposed to flying up, that's gonna help you a lot as well, okay? So that's what you wanna practice. And keep it up like this. You can keep them like this, and that's what you wanna do, okay? So just think, lower the table, if you need to, if yours are too high. So again, think if you're having to do up this, uh, even with that, it's too high. Get it so, so you're, you're here in this position, it's so much better. Again, not only for you, but for your client. It feels so much better. All right, so don't wing out, lower the table, and use body weight. So you're leaning your upper body. That's all helping you. So it's weight transference, body weight, and not only will you get to feel much better, you have much more energy at the end of the day, you won't feel the pain, the, possibly you had before as it starts to, to heal, and your clients are gonna love your massage. It'll be night and day.